Are you looking to add dynamic video to your Microsoft Teams experience? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add not only one, but multiple videos into Teams from Microsoft Stream. Hello and welcome back to EdTech in the Classroom. My name is Jeff Bradbury from the TeacherCast Educational Network. And in this video, we're gonna walk you through the steps to bring video from Microsoft Stream into your Teams environment. So let's do that right now. We're gonna jump into Microsoft Teams. You can see here, I have my team and I'm in my channel. And what we wanna do is we wanna bring in not just one, but many videos. First, let's start with a single video. I've got my video over here, and I want to share this into my Teams experience. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the Share button, and I'm going to hit on the Copy button, come back over here into Teams, and on the plus, I'm going to click on the Add a tab, and I'm going to add a stream channel. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this dialog, and it's going to ask channel or video. I want to click on a single video, and I'm going to paste the link in, you notice it finds my video. I have to select it. It grabs the name automatically, but we can add whatever we want. Say, watch me and hit the save button. Now you'll notice up here, it does add a tab that says, watch me. And then right under here, we have our video in really beautiful resolution. Also, if you notice under posts, I now have a brand new post here that says, that I've added a video. But what happens if you wanna add an entire chapter full of videos? So the next step is over here, I'm gonna click on my sample video. And remember in our last video, we made a channel. So I'm gonna come over here under content. I'm gonna click on channels. And we notice we've got two channels here, one for chapter one, one for my family vacation. Over here, I'm gonna click on this chapter. And I only have one video, but I wanted to show you how this works. I'm gonna click on the three dots and click on share. And just like we did with the single video, this is going to be for the entire channel. We're going to notice how this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to again click on the plus over here in Microsoft Teams and go to stream. I'm going to click on the button that says channel. Paste everything in. Notice it says my channel and my stream group. And I'm going to add my tab right here. I'm going to hit save. And you'll notice I have my chapter banner and I have my video. Now, if I have multiple videos, this of course will show up here as it will. It'll also show up here in your posts. You can see here is for the single video and here is for the entire series. And of course, if I click on here, it takes me over to this tab. So as you can see, it's very easy to take a video from Microsoft Stream and stick it into your Teams experience. But what happens if you want to stick that video on a website? In our next video, I'm going to show you how you can take your Stream experience and mer merge it with Microsoft SharePoint. So stick around. Of course, the link for that is going to be in the description below. And that wraps up this video from the TeacherCast Educational Network. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and share TeacherCast with your friends. We've got a lot of great videos all on the Microsoft products, Google products, and we are here to bring the best ed tech into your classroom. So on behalf of everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network, my name is Jeff Bradbury, reminding you to keep up the great work in your classroom and continue sharing your passions with your students. Hey guys, Jeff here. If you like this video, once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, smash anything that you want on the screen, and please leave a comment below. We would love to have you guys check everything out today right here on the TeacherCast Educational Network.